So much has been done in modern science today as to how water has memory. If I open this water, even without opening, if I say something to this water, it remembers. There has been lot of experiments in this direction. So, uh, if you take this water from wherever the waterworks is and pump it to your house, let's say it went through fifty bends, forced, pumped forcefully with a certain force, which naturally is done, and you are living on twelfth floor of the apartment, so further forced up. Now they are saying, if it goes through fifty bends, about sixty percent of the water has turned poisonous. Immediately when it comes in the tap, if you take it and immediately drink it, it will work as poison in your system. It is molecular, molecular changes are happening, no chemical changes happening. This is why traditionally your grandmother always told you, always you must gather the water, keep it overnight in your house, in a properly cleaned vessel with vibhuti and kunkum on it and one flower on it, yes or no? Only tomorrow morning you drink it. Not as soon as it comes inside your house, you don't drink it because it carries all kinds of memories. In very traditional homes, people every day do puja to the water pot. Yes? And you never drink the water as soon as it comes. You keep it, give it enough time to undo itself from whatever nonsense it has gathered so that it is suitable for you when you drink it. Then comes your air and it's important especially if you have children, at least once a month, take them out somewhere, not to the damn cinema, again breathing everybody's nonsense. <laughs> the air gets affected just by the sounds and the intentions and the emotions, all the rubbish that's happening on the screen and all the rubbish that's reflecting in human minds, of violence, of sex, of greed, of this and that is affecting that limited air in that hall in a tremendous way. So instead of taking them to the cinema, take them to the river, teach them how to swim, climb a mountain, where is mountain Sadhguru? Himalayas is so far away. <laughs> Even a small hill is a mountain for your boy. Yes? Even a little rock? Just go climb and sit on one of them, children will enjoy it immensely, they will become fit, you will become fit. And above all, your body and mind will function differently and above all, you are in touch with the creator's creation which is the most important thing. And what kind of fire burns within you, that also you can take care. Sunlight has not become impure, isn't it? Get some sunlight every day, please. Get some sun on your body every day because sunlight is still pure, isn't it? Nobody can fortunately contaminate it. And what kind of fire burns within you? Is it the fire of greed, fire of hatred, fire of resentment, fire of anger, fire of love, fire of compassion? What kind of fire burns within you? You take care of that then you don't worry about your physical and mental well-being, it's taken care of. <laughs>